today which is lean ground beef and some brock little trees and then I'm gonna hit up the gym for my PM cardio which is 20 minutes on the Steermaster this week marks four weeks out until my photo shoot and my big surprise which I'm not gonna reveal quite yet so please stay tuned I know you're probably on like this the edge of your seat but yes so Excuse my chewing. My update involves increased cardio, lower carbs, still carb cycling, and switching to more Metcon styled workouts versus just traditional weight lifting. Oh my goodness, I just broke my gorilla pod thing. <laughs> you lost the leg there, buddy. Uh, the last way in I did was, was yesterday, I think. Um, and I've been holding a bit of water probably because I've been having a lot of artificial sweetener, I would say. So a lot of things with aspartame. Over the weekend, I had a lot of diet drinks. I like probably chewed two packs worth of gum. <laughs> I don't know, it's like, it's almost like you think it helps with your cravings, but when you have it, you just want another one and another one, and it just doesn't really satisfy your craving. It's my two cents looking back on it. I know that artificial sweeteners definitely make me hold water, so I'm holding a little bit of water today. I weighed in yesterday at around 126. Today I'm back down 125. The week before I was in the low 124, so we'll see where I go in the next four weeks. I'm really excited. So I'm gonna finish up this meal, mix myself a pre-workout. My plan is to make it into a slushy. So Hold on while I finish eating, and I'll show you what I make. Every person could be you though. A pretty guy with a halo. But who am I kidding, please now? I gotta realize that you a little bit but the one time that I actually made time to make it work the sauna was like only 23 degrees like it wasn't even hot I sat in there and I was like man my car is hotter than this so it occurred to me after the Stairmaster tonight I obviously was a bucket full of sweat and then I quickly dried off before I got back in the car but my AC is broken in my car except I'm already in sweaty clothes I didn't have time to change so then it occurred to me why the heck don't I just like seize the opportunity of my broken AC and while I transport myself from Cambridge to Kitchener that I could saunaize myself in the car and sweat it out without having to set aside time sitting in a sauna that doesn't even heat me up. Yeah? Yeah? Brilliant, I know. And it's uh, cheap, free, and it saves me money from <laughs> fixing AC. I just don't have the time to go and get it fixed! Oh my gosh. Can you see it? The glisten? The glisteniness? Yeah? Yeah? <laughs> oh look, it's Amanda! <laughs> so yes. Okay, bye for reals. See you guys later. Currently on my way to my parents to visit with them because they're going on a cruise. I'm so jealous. 
Um, but I just got finished training at the gym. Um, I'm gonna go home after and visit my parents and update some client programs. I finished chugging my water and I think I have like two more meals left. I have probably about a liter and a bit left of my water. Yesterday I told my Instagram viewers, I was like, oh hey, hey, I got my meals in and my water in and my workouts in and my cardio in and it is only 7.30 p.m. I'm going to bed. And then that did happen. Because I realized I didn't buy meat slash pep it for this week. <laughs> totally forgot. So tonight, I swear, tonight is the night that I'm going to bed early. Like before 10 p.m. That will be my early mark. So yeah, we'll see if that happens. See you later. Alright, I am back home. Um, it's a little bit late. I was a little bit slow in propelling myself to get back into bed. Uh, washed my face with makeup off because it went through like two or three sessions of sweating today. Morning cardio, PM cardio, sauna in the car. I wanted to um, quick sum up some helpful hacks for when you are going on a strict diet. There are three things that I always like to have on hand when I am pushing myself hard to be consistent with my diet and my training, my sleep, which I kind of suck at still, and just like all those little things that kind of add up to propel you towards maximal progress. One is water. It's kind of inconvenient to have to consume a lot of water, but trust me, it is probably the most simple thing you can do to help your fat loss or your goals or whatever you have. Basically your body is pretty much made up of a lot of water and you need that to function properly and in order to maximize fat loss you want your organs to be running properly and your metabolism to be doing its job and your energy and just everything that goes with staying hydrated you want that to be on point because when you're dieting, when you're stressing your body a lot, you're gonna feel tired, you're gonna lose a lot of energy, and you're gonna feel sluggish. And water is a very simple and healthy thing to keep up in your daily routine and drinking a lot of it. Drinking lots of water is good. So that's number one. Stay hydrated, really hydrated. Number two, save your favorite meal for the end of the day. When you're really pushing for maximal fat loss, your diet is gonna be really clean, like pretty clean. It's probably gonna be pretty boring and nothing really to look forward to, just the basics. So from past experience, I would almost have that, oh, I feel so crummy. I'll have my insert favorite meal here and like, it, I would always kind of move the time I was supposed to have the meal into the time that I felt crappy and it always kind of backfired on me because it didn't fix me feeling crappy it just made me want more so if you're struggling with consistency and just cravings and stuff just really tough it out go back to number one which is stay hydrated and make sure that you save your favorite meal for the end of the day or at least try it out because that's what works best for me So far on this uh, photo shoot prep, a lot of my favorite meals are the last meals, so it's not like I have to really switch them. Basically, I really enjoy anything with protein powder, um, just like the standard shake. Yeah, that's, I'm pretty boring, but all of my meals I eat plain. My favorite vegetable right now is broccoli, so I have broccoli with everything. And for my ground meats and chicken and stuff, I literally just like sprinkle on um, the Himalayan pink sea salt and to me that brings out a lot of flavor. I like it. Every now and then I will use Frank's Red Hot Sauce or some sugar free or no sugar added PC ketchup which is like 5 calories per tablespoon so that's pretty macro friendly if you're worried about the caloric density of sauces to help you. Ketchup is like it's borderline okay if you really like ketchup try it out. Number three is 
have a good flavored canister of your favorite branch chain amino acids, your BCAAs. So these are going to help in many ways, but the two that I mainly use them for is for muscle recovery because when you're training so often, weights, workouts, metabolic conditioning, cardio, both steady state, what have you, your body is going through a lot and you don't have very many calories, so to speak, or days of rest to recover. So BCAAs really help to get that recovery that you need and help in the process of recovering. On top of that, with back to point number one, my hack as of lately is to get a little more than half of the amount of water I need in a day and then the rest of the half I put BCAAs in with and for me that kind of makes me drink it a little more because I like flavored things and I wouldn't have all of my water with BCAAs because that's just a lot of um, sweeteners in my water. I'd rather have like fresh water plain and then finish off my day with BCAAs so that you know, I'm like cutting cravings, giving my muscles some help with recovery, my body, and just staying hydrated and tasting all the good things. And honestly, like the recipe I showed you earlier, you can do the same with BCAAs. So put in a scoop of BCAAs with sand gum and ice and water and blend it up and you have yourself a delicious smoothie. So BCAAs are like my staple. They help in so many ways and I definitely recommend them. They are worth the investment. A little bit pricey, but trust me, it will make dieting so much easier. So yeah, there you have it. Water, save your favorite meal to the end of the day if you can, and BCAAs. Those are like my three things right now that are really helping me get by. <laughs> so yeah, let me know in the comments below if you have any other questions. I'm really excited. I was saying earlier like, oh yeah, four weeks out. Yay, four weeks, four weeks. It's three weeks starting Friday. That's in like two days. So three weeks out, holy smokes. I will tell you guys soon, really soon, the other big news I have to go with it. So yeah, stay tuned. Make sure to sign up below in the link. I made up a guide for you guys to have because I want to share the important things that you need to keep in mind when you're going on an extreme body transformation like I have been pushing myself for the past four or five months. Whoa, that's a long time. So make sure you click the link below. It'll take you to my sign up page to sign up for my email list. So not only will you get this download, you will get on the mailing list where I send you guys my insights and just a bunch of other amazing content that I wouldn't normally put on my other platforms. So make sure that you sign up there. Remember guys, click the bell after you have clicked subscribe because that way you get a notification when a new video comes out and trust me you do not want to miss the rest of the series next video i'll be giving you another progress update so i'll compare from the beginning to that week and so yeah bell subscribe like comment peace